chief whip of the Senate, Oji Ozokalo, has revealed lessons he learned from the Kuji Correctional Center, Abuja, when he was incarcerated over alleged fraud while serving as governor of Abia State. Daily Post record that Kalo was convicted by the Lagos Division of the Federal High Court on December 5, 2019, and sentenced to 12 years in prison over alleged 7.65 billion misappropriation. However, Justice Mohammed Lima of the Lagos Division of the Federal High Court on June 2, 2020, ordered the former governor's release, leading to his freedom after six months. In a statement on his verified Facebook page on Sunday, to mark two years of his ordeal, the lawmaker said his perception of life change while in the prison. Senator Oji, who noted that he learned how to forgive even his enemies, said the prison ordeal reformed him and made him a better man, stressing that he had forgiven those who conspired against him. The statement reads in part, My dear friends and compatriots, I am grateful to God for the six, for the six months I spent in the Kuji. He sanctioned it. God knows I fear no one except him. Those who conspired against me wanted me buried at all costs. But like the biblical Job, there is a sense in which God allowed those temporal and tragic events to happen to Job. My perception of life changed. After the six months of incarceration, life is vanity. I do not just learn a lot. I did not just learn a lot of lessons. I became a reformed and a better man. I was very imparted by what happened to me more than ever. I have relearned that kindness and forgiveness are what should rule the world, not wickedness. I have since forgiven all the people that were instrumental to my ordeal. I forgive them because they probably did not know what they were doing. I recall that on the first night I slept in the prison, I was questioning God. On the third day, God told me he allowed me to be imprisoned for a purpose and for a short time. I vividly recall I was scheduled to be in, in China on December 9, 2019, but my incarceration stopped my journey, he has said. Hmm. Okay. So, forgiving those who made it possible for you to go to prison, do they just they just frame you or what? I don't understand. No lesson learned. Our Nigerian politicians can never stop looting. They are still looting to today. So, all these ones, you are just talking and all that. That we are black doesn't simply mean that our brain as a black people should be black. Our leaders are not learners but lazy politicians who see oil money as a means accumulating uh, wealth and riches at the expense of the nation. We can never build a nation by pulling down nation with our recklessness spending, spending the very every future of our young generation. This just have to stop. And we don't even know how this would stop, honestly. Okay, let's quickly hear what Nigerians who have reacted to this have to say. The first person I have here said, hmm. Okay, mind you, nobody framed you up. Okay? So saying, talking as if you are innocent is just out of it. You committed the, the offense and you went for it. So, Mr. Man, you are not framed up by anybody. You are not an innocent person because you committed the crime. Okay? If you don't maintain your lane by campaigning fervently for Tinubu in Southeast, you will soon go back to that prison soon. To campaign for Tinubu, the person that caused the life of the NSAS protesters, protesters 
and still deny it. But the case has not been finally judged. If possible and find guilty, maybe you will still go back to another one. Not be Nigeria when we day. Just watch and see. Okay. These are reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking. Someone said, I don't blame you for all these things you are saying because you people will commit sin and go free. You know, you go free. Yahoo boys, we steal or we frame someone of 5 million naira or even 500,000 naira. You Nigerian government will send them to prison for 20 years. This is really very, very bad. It has not ended yet, only Kuji. Just wait when next your case file is dusted. The next prison will be recommended one. I don't want to say it because even Suleja prison three. I wonder why you guys are not taken to those prisons by now. You should have repented or perhaps returned all you stole from Abian. Okay, I think that would have been the best thing if you say you have repented. Just return all the money. <laughs> you see, I, I don't like the way Nigerian government, you know, take all these cases of uh, looting of a thing. They say someone loot. May, sometimes they don't even claim the money from them. Even when they retrieve the money from them, the money again will be looted by the same people. So, nothing, no lesson learned. They cannot stop. They can never stop, and they will not stop. It's just part of them. It's a tradition. You, know, you understand? Anybody who is coming there knows, you know, is just trying to, in his mind, is mapping out how he's going to loot the, the Nigerian, you know, wet, whatever. But this is not helping anybody because time will come, the masses will demand for all these resources by all these leaders. And if you don't provide it, you will have yourself to be blamed. A time will come and we are gradually, you know, drawing closer to that, to that time. Guys, what's your take concerning this? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.